Hey Virgo, welcome to your April monthly reading. This is for anyone with Virgo in their chart. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Please feel free to check out the other playlists. You can find all of the weekly readings I do, okay? The shadow work readings I do, the full moon, all that good stuff there, okay? And then if this reading is uh, resonating with you today, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment down below, leave me some feedback. It helps me as a reader, me as a coach, okay? And it really helps those that need to find the message, find it, okay? So this month, shadow card, six of pentacles in the reverse. This is your energy along with Capricorn and Taurus as well, okay? There's something here about either, you could be being breadcrumbed, right? Or being taken advantage of, or there's almost like, um, there's nothing left here from you. You've absorbed everything for you, okay? We'll take a look. Uh, you are showing up in the Eight of Wands, fire energy, beautiful, okay? Could be in communication or just uh, a transition in your life. Could be travel as well. The challenge is the Empress, okay? So this is the mom of tarot, right? Very nurturing, okay? Um, very empathetic, right? unconditional love able to meet you where you are yeah we talk about the ace of cups this could be a love um a new love okay or just again that self-love that nurture okay um but there's some challenge in that though it could be showing yourself that love that patience forgiveness maybe or somebody else we will definitely look into that okay your focus is detachment beautiful could be dealing straight up with a capricorn or have that um in your chart but this is an energy of letting go of something that you're bound to right like the ties that bind um this could have been some, an obsessive energy an addictive energy uh it's toxicity right and we're letting that go and we're practicing self-love which again remember is part of the challenge okay in the past, Six of Cups in the reverse, so there was a block. This could have been a separation, okay, from a soulmate. Um, but this is just being blocked from our inner child, yes, to our spirit, our soul, okay, our feelings, okay? Uh, but yeah, this could have been a fallout with a family member, a friend, someone from the past, whatever. Now, your strength position is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, which is very interesting here, okay? This is an energy of somebody that is not satisfied, okay, with what has come of a situation. That's your strength position, the fact that you aren't happy here, okay? So, let's see here before we continue. Tell me about this Eight of Wands, please. This change, this action. That was your energy that popped out, the hermit, okay? Hmm. Could intuitively know that it's time to change. The emperor just fell out. Aries energy. Decisions being made, okay? Or a boss figure. There could be a conversation with a boss or you have to absorb that energy, okay? The seven of wands and the king of pentacles. Wow, also your energy. This could be a life transition, if not communication with somebody else, okay? Picking up a deep masculine energy, gender not specific, okay? That's just the energy that's coming out. And it's like, no, things are going to be this way. The Seven of Wands is fighting for what's right. It's having boundaries, standing up, right? Like it's worth the fight, right? Like, no, I'm picking this battle because it's the right thing. It's the stable thing, okay? The King of Pentacles knows what he's doing and the Emperor definitely knows what he's doing. Yeah, so this may be a conversation here. After a lot of confusion or someone that wasn't very upfront, <laughs> there's truth now. Ace of Wands just popped out. Could be in love, career, okay? But it's very passionate. Tell me about this Empress, please. We have the Emperor showing up in your energy and then the challenge is the Empress. It's very interesting. The High Priestess, Pisces energy. Hmm. Two of Pentacles. You guys are being called to something. Will you listen though? Yeah. 
I sense it. That's exactly why I said that, the Five of Cups. Will you listen? Ace of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. Listen, that's a lot of offers. Now, the devil is underneath that, okay? There's something from your past that's very painful that you're holding on to, okay? Regarding love, attachment. Maybe even abandonment, right? With that um, breast card, okay? But it's so vital for you to use your intuition here, okay? The high priestess, the veil's lifted, right? The high priestess accepts duality, okay? She can see the dark. She can also see the light, okay? The universe works on that balance, And the high priestess is within the empress. There's something about you just knowing, okay, that even though there's something painful here, there's just this inner knowing of also seeing the light and the dark, understanding possibly why something had to happen. Okay, there's uh, energy of acceptance. Let's clarify your focus, please. The detachment. That Ace of Cups energy does not want to leave you guys alone. Might be a lot more. Even if it is a new relationship, okay? It has a lot to do with your self-worth. Like, it makes you feel really good. Or there's an opportunity here for you to fill up your cup. All right. We have the Seven of, seven of Pentacles in the reverse. The Ten of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. All your energy. You realize that to have your happiness, you have to detach from something. It's completely throwing off balance of everything else right everything that's on your plate okay so whether that's a relationship a way of living you've known that you had to let something go for a long time or that you couldn't absorb it okay it's connected to this five of cups energy right what we hold on to from the past that something wasn't come able to come into fruition remember the fact that something wasn't able to come into fruition is your strength okay and I see you knowing it's for what's best, but it's still very painful because it's like, I really, could, I thought I could have been happy there, right? But it's settling. You know there's more for you. And the fact that you're very mindful of that, like there's an energy of self-awareness there, very strong. And that's going to be your biggest strength, okay? Okay. Um, this month in April, right? Just having the self-awareness of what is not for you, right? Acknowledging that something is very sad, but it wasn't meant to be. Mm -hmm. Five of Pentacles, exactly. Yeah, that's the energy of loss. The past is showing there's something here that was lost or you weren't given in your childhood. A lot of you, this could be inner child work, okay? The hermit wants to come out again. A lot of you may feel like you've always had to do it alone or you've always felt alone in the world, right? Never really seen, valued maybe. Yeah, there's like deep, I'm picking it up heavy. Um, feelings of like just abandonment isn't strong enough of a word for what I'm trying to explain. It's just that energy of like, I have me in this world, no one else, you know? Like no one's ever been safe or extended themselves or had the skills to be there for you, right? Nine of cups and that's all you've ever wanted was to feel safe or have that home or sense of stability. The fool at the bottom of the deck, yeah. Always searching, always looking for it in something else, always trying to create it, which is crazy because the magician is telling us that you have always had the ability. It's like that Wizard of Oz thing, right? Like all you had to do was click your heels to go home, Dorothy. What's that? You have always been able to give that to yourself, right? Like that's been your strength. You've been, be, you are able and you've been able to create that sense of home or safety within and not need to search from it from an external source. Tell me about the nine of pentacles, please. Let's look into there. Yeah, this is like your worst fear, but it brings about a fresh slate, a new beginning, maybe. 
there's the devil again, also in the reverse though. I'm telling you, the universe loves that you're detaching from something. And Virgo, like if you caught a lot, of, like your March reading, and then it was some of your um, like weekly check-ins that are time stamped, I was like coming at you guys so hard because I was just like, this is bad. Like whatever they're telling you, it's not true. Like it's devil energy, I'm telling you. Your strength is that you see it, okay? After a long period of not wanting to, holding on tight right? Feeling like you need this. I mean, it can show up in so many different ways for you, but the strength is you're acknowledging it now. You were totally looking the other way a few weeks ago, okay? That's the growth I recognize in your energy, okay, to the Virgo that I'm talking to. So hats off to you, for real. Tell me about this Ace of Swords going forward. This is clarity, truth, having just that clear vision, right? Like more than clarity. It's like, okay, I have goals here. King of Swords in the reverse. A decision, but something was rejected. Like I was saying, you didn't want to, but something had to be rejected to bring this. You spoke the truth. I can't do this. I can't go down this road with you. I can't go back this way. I can't go down this path. This isn't for me. Brings about a new beginning. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It took you, yeah. <laughs> you guys were avoiding it for a long time. That's all that's telling me. Ace of Swords, please. Work with me. I'm getting like, I have to avoid the disaster. You know, like if I don't make the change now, it's going to be a disaster. Yeah, no more waiting. Exactly, three of wands in the reverse. This popped out before. It's important. I see it. So did this. The lovers in the reverse. Something here is against your values. It's not about who you are, right? Maybe with the past you, it would have been fine, right? But you just can't be this person anymore. You're going in a different direction. Taking that leap of faith. Finally. Finally, right? You've always been called to do it. Yeah. That's very strong. Wow. It finally feels like the again like the veil has been lifted right like maybe when you were taking this leap of faith in the past like there wasn't the kind of clarity you have now hmm very interesting the hangman reverse there it is yeah you have a different perspective about something here and there's heavy pisces energy showing up in your reading here we go again okay your advice is the high priestess so remember that that was clarifying your challenge right with the empress okay um, the high priestess is within the empress. We really want to embrace that empress mode, okay? I did a video on the empress. Feel free to go check it out. It's in the Timeless Shadow Work playlist. But your advice is just watch, observe, okay? Don't lose your shit. Control your emotions. See everything for what it is. You have the ability right now, okay? But the magician is also your energy, okay? Gemini Virgo energy to... See through everything, okay? Very much connected to the spirit realm, all right? So pay attention to synchronies, to signs, to repeating numbers, your intuition the most, what you've learned in the past, okay? We're definitely seeing with like our third eye right now. The temperance card wants to fall out, the card of angels. This is so divine that... You are being divinely guided by spirit, by your guides, okay? Something in the past that you had to walk away from. You had to show severe strength. Trigger city. Yeah. It didn't work out how you wanted or you thought it would. It left you very much triggered from the past. Like a lot of you, again, could have felt this trigger since childhood of not having a home or feeling safe, right? Or having that close bond with somebody. Um, it could have really triggered that for you. You are being advised to really just see things for what they are. The deeper layer. The deeper purpose. Really question it. Why would this happen? Okay. Now. Okay. So the Four of Wands wants to come out, guys. I've seen it like three times. Ten of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Swords in the reverse. You have to release some type of betrayal or lie you told yourself or maybe lies you were told and you believed all your life that things had to look a certain way right and then it's like the energy of happiness is underneath that but you have to be willing to confront some uncomfortable truth 
Now, what you don't see coming, we have the King of Cups in the reverse, okay? You could be dealing with a water sign or have water in your chart. This is an energy of codependency of someone that is not able to handle their emotions, okay? Trigger city, right? This can also be known sometimes as like the suicidal king by some readers. The Hierophant in the reverse. Taurus energy. The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. A new chapter is coming, but you have to do something completely different and kind of like go against what you've been taught all your life. That's really coming out, you guys. And it's going to bring a lot of emotion out of you. It's going to be very uncomfortable. But it's to encourage you to do things differently, to open the door finally. That's why the challenge is the Empress, okay? Just embrace that unconditional love, being able to accept things as they are, remain unattached, okay? Your focus is detachment, your strength is detachment. Just observe, that's your advice. Get curious, again, why is this happening, right? Knowing you have the ability to create what you've been searching for all along. Yep, the world in the reverse, all along. Message from your soul is the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Something doesn't feel right. And if you're still involved with this energy, it could be a person. Maybe you work with them, right? Maybe it's a toxic work environment. It's just listen to your soul. It is guiding you what's for you and what's not for you. Something is a distraction right now that needs to be, again, released. So the fool can open up their journey. King of Cups. Dang. So this water sign, if you're dealing with a water sign that's coming in and what you don't see coming, who's very codependent, okay? Could have been separated from this person. They want to do the things differently. Try again. Understand that's a distraction, okay? That's not for you. That may be a test but from the universe that you don't fall into again, okay? Searching for a home with outside of yourself, right? King of Wands in the reverse, you've lost your passion for this. Five of Wands, yeah. So take that as you will. You're being asked to show up for yourself and not invest in anything that seems unstable, okay? Going forward, the artist, love that, okay? The potential outcome. You have to take care of yourself. Really, self-care is huge here because you're holding a paintbrush, okay? Just like the magician said. So what now, right? Okay, it's all happened. But what now? What are we creating? And you're calling the shots. You can have whatever you want. Knight of Cups in the reverse. Some of you may have been like obsessed with love, if that makes sense in the past. As I say that, Six of Wands in the reverse. And that's what kept you feeling stuck because you weren't able to find a certain person. You could have felt like you were not good enough. This is your chance to figure out why you're good enough. Even if you're in a relationship, right? The happiest marriage, the healthiest marriage, right? There's something unhealthy because you still attach your spouse's opinion about you, right? Like if that person changed their opinion about you tomorrow, you need to be able to stand on your own two feet. Where'd he go? There he is, the King of Cups. Know your every layer, okay? And be able to meet and accept that. Know your worth. You guys, it's rough, okay? And I definitely see, okay, that there's still some confusion or, again, somebody that may come out of codependency that's like a distraction, okay? But if you can remain detached and focus on what is for you, what you feel guided towards, okay? You're Gucci. <laughs> You're absolutely Gucci. Um, I'm going to check in with you guys for love specifically for April, okay? And then I will do finances as well. Let me just pick these up for you. But not a bad overall reading for this month. I'm digging it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's do love first, yeah? 
<laughs> just see what that was. The Ace of Cups, working on judgment and the Nine of Cups. If anyone reads tarot, that's good stuff, okay? <laughs> you know that. Tell me about this Ace of Cups, please, Spirit. That showed up, what, three or four times now in your reading, you guys? Okay, it, ha it does. I'm telling you, I promise you, especially because the Four of Swords popped out in your potential outcome while you were holding the paintbrush. That's why it's vital for you to invest in yourself, right? Show yourself a little self-care, okay? Take a mental health day. You have my permission, okay? As your <laughs> shadow coach, as your tarot reader. Make sure this cup is full. Something's coming towards you. Whether it's a deeper connection, a newer connection, a connection with yourself that you've never had before, okay? The energy of home, safety, feeling secure and stable was strong that you've been looking for all along. You don't need to search for that anymore, my Virgo babies, okay? Mm -hmm. The truth brings victory. I saw the truth surrounding you going forward. A lot of you may get. I mean, you're showing up in that eight of uh, wands energy, right? It was like communication or like a little change, a lifestyle change. Magician, you have everything it takes to fill up your own cup. Okay. You also have everything it takes to decide if you want to add to that. And by that, I mean involve yourself in a relationship. For those of you that are like, I don't know if I'm ready. It's your energy, baby. Okay. Death in reverse, Scorpio energy, and the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? It has to be one of those things where you decide you're ready and you take action because there's this cycle here of resisting love or resisting taking care of yourself, okay? That's why you've never been able to grow into the Virgo, right? Or embrace the Virgo you're meant to become. That waters you down. Be very careful, okay? You can get analysis paralysis or maybe even get in your head, right? Like think it would like take too much or do too much. Like start small. I'm telling you, okay? You may not be who you are, like who you see yourself as your best version, but you have everything it takes right now to implement the first step to becoming that person, okay? Or the next step or the 37th step, whatever that means for you. Okay, but as far as love, you guys, this is a big go for it when you're ready. It literally depends on you. Okay, you realize, and I remember in your detachment, okay, you recognize something was too heavy, okay, for your plate. When you release that and you invest in yourself, Virgo's gonna be a pimp. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you're blocking your own connections. Okay. And I really get it's from self-care and self-love. So do with that as you will. Let's pop into finances for you guys, okay? Career, finances, pentacles, abundance, anything financial. Let me know what Virgo needs to know for April. Mm -hmm. All right, King of Cups. Two of Cups in the reverse. Interesting. You guys may be thinking about changing jobs, whether that's different department, different company, different complete area. That's crazy. You feel like you're not doing what you're meant to do or it's not as fulfilling as we once thought. You're good though. Like you're not unstable. You show up, you do the work and you're proud of it. That's something about Virgos, right? It's like, I'm still going to give everything I do 110% even if I feel like it's beneath me. Does that make sense? Okay, and that shows me it, but this isn't your forever job. Okay, whatever that means this month, and you guys know that. I feel like you're ready to move on. Some of you are ready to make more money. Okay, welcome in that abundance. Feel like you deserve more for what you're worth, or again, you just want to do what you love and exist in life that way, right? Like maybe it's not even about money, like you just want to be happy and be able to pay your bills. Okay. Any last advice for Virgo, please, Spirit, for April? Yeah, look at that. The moon in the reverse and the eight of swords. Things are not as in the dark, okay, as they seem, right? I know you guys are having to adapt to a lot of change, okay, or just action in general, right? It doesn't feel like anything too heavy, but it does feel like a constant type of 
All right, we're just gonna keep rolling here. We're going with the flow. We're gonna absorb and adapt. But you guys definitely have a decision to make here. Okay. Six of wands in the reverse. What about it? King of pentacles in the reverse. Something about you guys either feel like you're not making enough money or you're not recognized for the hard work that you do, right? Like a lot of you may feel like I give this shitty job my all, right? Or I'm so good to my boss. Like there's something about like I put my heart into this job. Like I show pride in that. I'm picking that up so heavy and it's pissing you off. And maybe even a sore spot that like you can't even like be stable. You know what I mean? It's like I give everything to this and I feel like I get nothing from it. All right, advice, please. Let's move to advice, please, Spirit. Advice. Ten of swords in the reverse. Let go of the hurt. Let go of the pain. Five of swords in the reverse. Move on. It has to be your decision to let go of that. No more mental conflict. Did I say the right thing? Should I have done this? Queen of Cups in the reverse. Hmm. Remember in what you didn't see coming was King of Cups in the reverse? Really might be an emotional water sign. We have the Page of Cups at the bottom of the deck, okay? It's like an offer, an action, a gesture of some sort, okay? A surprise, a text, a call, something small, but it's quick. And it can feel like, I have to act on this now or it's not going to happen. Don't let that fuck you up. Don't repeat that cycle. You got to make the choice to let that way go, okay? So I hope that helps, Virgo. If you would like a personal reading or interested in shadow coaching sessions, feel free to email me. It's in my description box. Um, yeah, otherwise, please like the video, comment, okay? Leave feedback. Helps my channel. And yeah, have a good day on purpose. And we'll see you on the next one.